Good afternoon. On half a day, the Committee on General Government Operations, Appropriation and Housing is now called to order. For the record, today is Thursday, June 24th, and the time now is 2.06. Notice for this public hearing were disseminated via email to all senators and all main media broadcasting outlets. First public notice was issued on Monday, June 14th, followed by June 22nd. We have five bills, but they're all similar in nature. We will begin with bill, which is gonna, we're just gonna capture all the bills together. We'll start with bill 117-36COR and bill 118-36COR, bill 119-36COR, bill 125-36COR, we have bill 126, that's 36 COR. These are all, all these bills are all related to the name change of the villages. We do have currently present in, in, in the panel, we have the mayor for, from Inalahan, Mayor Chagloff, the mayor from Talafofo, Mayor Tarigui, the mayor from Yumarak, Mayor Kinata, we have the mayor from Agat, Mayor Susiko, the mayor from Meleso, Mayor Chagloff, the mayor from Santa Rita, Mayor and Alvarez. And I'd like to recognize the, the senators that have, my colleagues that have joined me this, this, this afternoon. We'll begin with Speaker Therese Terlai, who have joined me. We have Senator uh, Tello Tarigui, who's the author of all five bills. And I think she has a few more coming. And with that, um, the rules of this, of this uh, Oh, and Senator Brown, I'm, I apologize. Senator Brown's here. I apologize, Senator Brown. Of all people, that's my favorite. That's my favorite Republican senator, but you know, it's good. <laughs> but the, the, the rules of, of this public hearing is those testifying on behalf of bill, of the bills, of each one of the bills are, are, have been invited, and I have already recognized each one of the mayors. A written testimony uh, shall be submitted to the committee. Please provide my legislative staff will be a written testimony for photocopying. Testimony may be read, and lengthy testimony should be summarized to about five minutes. But if you need additional time, I understand. Okay, we'll, give you, we'll allow you the time you need. Those testifying will be allowed to present oral testimony. Once you are done, please remain in the room for questions or for additional testimony as may be desired by members of the committee. Questions and testimony shall be confined to the substance or the nature of the, of the agenda. And the agenda is about changing the names of each respective villages. Personal inference as to the character or motive of any senator or any individual testifying is not permitted. Any violation of this general rule of conduct will result in removal from the public hearing room. Proper forum and decorum shall be practiced by all present in the public hearing room for these proceedings. Individuals who fail to maintain proper forum and decorum may be restricted from providing oral testimony and will be removed from the room. When you speak, please make sure that the microphone is on and that you speak into the microphone. You state your name and your title for the record. I will now begin with Senator Tello Tarigui, the author of the bills, to please uh, make her opening uh, statement. Thank you, Senator Tello. Excuse <laughs> me, Mr. Chair, and I take no offense that I'm not your favorite Republican senator. However, I know I'm your favorite Tarigui Republican senator. Sidus <laughs> Masi, Mr. Chair and colleagues, Sidus Masi for joining me in this public hearing uh, for five additional bills which proposes to change the official name of five of our southern villages. Mr. Chair, with your indulgence, I respectfully request to provide my opening and closing remarks covering all five bills and in the interest of time to allow members of the public to offer comments for one or more of the bills when they testify if they so desire. Mr. Chairman, Bill 117, 118, 119, 125, and 126. Build upon the work this 36th Guam legislature has made, beginning with the beautiful village of Inalahan, to restore Chamorro names of all our village. It's not a change, it's to restore. I thank Mr. Chair, I thank you Mr. Chair and other uh, co-sponsors of, of these measures for joining me in recognizing the importance of restoring Chamorro names of our village in a broader effort to preserve, to perpetuate, 
and to celebrate our indigenous language culture tradition in every way possible. The 117, 118, 119, 125, and 126 seek to recognize the villages of Agate, Umatic, Malesu, Marisu, Santarita, and Talafofo by the names known by generations before us, namely Hagat, Humatek, Malesu, Santarita, Talafofo. Mr. Chair, with respect to Santa Rita, I understand the village name may be further modified based on comments offered during the public hearing conducted by Ikemoshon, which held in, what was held in Hagat on April 13, 2021. I attended the public hearing of the Commission on April 13, 2021, and would like to thank Hagat Mayor Kevin Sisuiko and Vice Mayor Christopher Feheran. Humatuk Mayor John Kanata, Malesu Mayor Ernest Chargala, Santa Rita Mayor Dale Alvarez, and Talafofo Mayor Vincent Tairigui for supporting the restoration of their prospective villages in their Chamorro name. I thank the residents of these villages for showing up to the Kumashon public hearing and for collectively expressing a strong desire to take some but important steps, such as the restoration of the Chamorro village names in order to connect with the Guam Chamorro identity. Sumai Village, Fina Village, Faha Bay, pre-Spanish settlement areas, caves, rivers, and springs, and fertile fishing grounds are just some of what Southern villages are well known for. Mr. Chairman, our Chamorro ancestors called these beautiful places our Southern villages, Haget, Humatak, Malesu, Santarita, Talafofo, home, and they took good care of the land and water, resources so that we and generations after us can forever call Guam home. Mr. Chairman, our southern villages are peaceful and picturesque, with historical sites attracting not only tourists, but residents from across our island who perhaps want to discover or rediscover in some cases our island's rich history and culture. In closing, Mr. Chair, I can reiterate, reiterate enough some of the comments I offered during discussions during the Inalahan name restoration effort. Where I quoted Dr. Catherine Uggins' testimony on legislation renaming our island's capital city. Dr. Uggins wrote that decades of colonial administration and the imposition of foreign ideas and concepts have nearly obliterated our, historic, our history, heritage, and identity as people, and that we have had to rediscover ourselves, our thoughts and ideas, and perhaps someday we can restore all that we have lost. Mr. Chair, while measures such as Bill 117, 118, 119, 125, and 126 may seem like simple policy proposals, I believe these proposals will help to gradually reshape the lens through our children and young adults identifying our Chamorro history, language, and culture. I look forward to listening to the testimony today, and I, and I am beyond excited that this legislature has recognized how important these bills are to preserving, perpetuating, and celebrating our Chamorro language and culture. Sijus Masi, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Tello. We'll begin with Inalan, Mayor Sargloff, and Bonitusti Sardosna Sargloff. The familiar Sargloff, Loki Taitigui, but a compendia. Honorable Senator Joe St. Augustine, Honorable Senator Telu Taitigui, Speaker Therese Terlahi, Senator Joanne Brown, then Todu is in a door, then Senadora Ginigi, Mina Trentai Sais, and Lesser Turan Gohan. Buenas, then half a day. In Arnu, say Anthony Polino Charglov Jr., Mayor in Alohan. Matudu Pago, but by Faisal Amdun, is put in Mizu, but Esti, Manatungo, Mangatsongo, and Mayor. I must be Piana Pomatulaika in Anni Sangsungia, but I am a propio Gifinu Samoru. Esti Bill in uh, Bill 117, Bill 118, Bill 119, 
125 Para este na ifamagonta pagu da ni mama ja ni mama mela na famagonta eno a pagu eno na motu pagu ba ba support sia da undang ku na sidus masi ni nai listi na puni putte ni la sidus masi biba santarita biba talofofo biba humatak biba hagat biba malesu biba inalahan Biba Chamoru, Biba Guahan, Biba. Biba, this is just my say. Mayor Taidewi, you'll be testifying on, in reference to Bill 126-36. I'm going to identify each bill that you're testifying on, so, so as you testify. All right? Okay, Mayor sir. Taidewi. For the record, my name is Santi S. Taidewi, Mayor Talfofo. Bill number 126-36, COR. Intent is to change the official name of the municipality of Talofofo to his, to his Chamoru language name, Talofofo. This process is not only mandated by law, but in the Nifesi, we, we, we swear to Putehi, Itanota, Defendi, Inigata, Ikutura, Ilongwahi, Iaili, Ihanum, and Itanota Chamoru. Senators, I don't foresee any controversial issue in doing this or negative impact in the municipality of Talvovo. It's a process that we need to do to correct the mistake of the past. So therefore, let the record show that the Talvovo MPC support the internal bill 126-36. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mayor. We will now move to uh, Mayor Ginata from Yamatak. He will be testifying on, on, in support of Bill 118. That's 36 CR. Sir, Mayor. Inanu Sijani Ogun Kinata, Mayor Nomata. Buenas and half a day, Honorable Ihulu Senator Joe St. Augustine and all committee members. Today is a momentous day for my people of Humata. Today we celebrate and honor our culture, history, our native language by we resuscitating the name of our municipality from Yamadak to Humatak. My people are overjoyed with this amendment as this was one of our many goals to accomplish. This may seem like a small step for others, but this is a huge stride for us. In our beautiful village, we strive to keep our traditions alive. This is one of the many ways we can continue to sustain and encourage the practice of our culture. We hope that this is, will inspire others to do the same by fostering this practice. We are allowing our heritage and culture to beautifully shine through. As stated in my written testimony, Humatek is the true name and should the true official name. We thank you, Senator Taylor Tadewi, Clint Rigel, Joanne Brown, Therese Terlai, Christopher Janus, Anthony Adep, Frank Bloss Jr., Joe Augustine, Sabina Flores, Tina Munya Barnes, and Joe Pito Terlahi. My memorial colleagues, the Mayor's Council of Guam, and last but not least, my beautiful people of Homotech. This is for you. Biba Homotech, and God bless all of you. Biba. Now we'll have um, Mayor Susiko from the, uh, on Bill 117 36 COR. Sir, Mayor. Buenas and Hafari, Honorable Senator Joe S. and Augustine, Honorable Senator and Author Tello Taitsugui of Bill 117 36. Honorable Senators of the 36th Guam Legislature who have co sponsored this bill and all honorable senators who are present at this hearing today. Undankulina Sizus Masi for allowing me the opportunity 
to provide testimony in support of Bill 117-36. My name is Kevin J.T. Sisuiko, a lifelong resident, a humble public servant, and the mayor of the municipality of the beautiful village of Agate. As a young leader of our island, it saddens me to not only see, but to feel the loss of our culture, our language, and our history. Since taking office in 2015, it has been my personal promise to myself to follow the heartfelt pledge of the Inifresi created by the late Dr. Bernadita Camacho Duncat, who cited, Gini mastakulo gienasoku, gini mastakulo gikurusunu, zainimas figo ninasinyao, para bai, who first in maizazo, para bai protehi, zanu defendi, i hinengi, i kutura, i linguahi, i aidi, i hanum zanitano tomorrow, ni ren shaku diretsu ginezu stata, zesto of it mangilo bliblia, zani banderahu, i bandera and guahan. Throughout history and the long lived stories of the past, it has been written that our village of Hoggett existed since the late 1600s. Our village of Hoggett is known as the Gateway of the South and is filled with history, culture, and traditions. If we want to preserve what's left for our generations to come, now is the time. Now is the time for us to do this. Change is what is to preserve what's left for our generations. We must have a positive outlook and, and start something new. It's a process which occurs from experiences of the past, the present, and the future. We can no longer wait while the world evolves into its own creation, while our beloved island follows the movement and loses its identity. Renaming our village of Agate to Hoggett may, be, may not be a huge significance to many, but it is of significance to those who have laid the foundation of our history for our people. It is significant for those who are fighting to keep the spirit and the teachings of our ancestors of the Chamorro people alive. With many efforts in place to teach and instill the values of our culture, the village of Hoggett will continue to take part in that effort. We know that language is a vital part of any culture, and we would like to start with the renaming our restoring of our village name from Agate to Hoggett. We must keep the history alive by addressing the village with this historic name of Hoggett for future generations and visitors to appreciate the identity and the impact of those who came before us. Sign Masi, Sensi Zeus Masi, to each and every one of you for this opportunity and allowing me to speak on behalf and in support of Bill 117-36 and I humbly request for your support and the passing of this bill. I also like to mention that our MPC is also in support of this bill. Thank you, Mayor. We will now proceed to Bill 119-36-COR. Mayor Chagla from the village of Melissa. Jesus, Masi, speak, Chairperson. Buenos and Afade, Senators. Thank you for the opportunity to come before you to express my support for, for the record. My name is Ernest Chagall, the Mayor of Mauricio. I want to thank, you, thank all of you guys and the members who have signed on to <coughs> co-author the bill. And uh, as you all may know, Mauricio and Malesu have always been historically used interchangeably to refer to my village. Mauricio being the given name, Malesu being the cultural and Chamorro name. As you may all know, Malesu was derived from and associated with the annual Manyaha Grand, the juvenile rabbit fish that we are all been famous for, as we all have the, uh, the most abundant and longest run throughout the island. Malesu is the, uh, I would say, center, well, well I got maybe the gateway. We are the heart. And so the fishing industry down there, because we have the, probably the largest lagoon. But Malesu is because of the Lesu, the Manyaha, the, the larger species of the, of the two varieties of the Manyaha. And it's abundantly caught every year, historically. And uh, the Lesu is the one that can go straight into the net, while the hot tank, the smaller version, have to be hurried in and, and earthed into the nets. 
we have been known as Manesu because of that. And, uh, you know, senators, like all my colleagues say, we need to uh, perpetuate our language and uh, make sure that through history, our children can identify. And if anything, at least, like my nephew, Mayor Charlo said, at least our tomorrow name of our villages can remain, but at least uh, do something to perpetuate our language. And I thank all of you guys, you know, that, for the opportunity once again. I'm sure my people, uh, the majority of my people will support just as I have supported this because I, I represent the voices of my village, maybe not everybody, but the majority. And I thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor Chaglov. Now we'll have um, Bill 125-36-UR. I'm not going to say my favorite village from Santa Rita because my wife is from Santa Rita, the Golofun family. But uh, Mayor Alvarez, please. Good afternoon, Senators. Senator San Augustine, the sponsor for the bill, Senator Tello, Speaker Sir Lai, and Joanne. Well, Senator, thank you for inviting me here to testify for the bill. Yes, I am in fully support of the bill because in reality, the name wasn't changed. It's just maybe the pronunciation from Santa Rita to Santa Rita. The people of Santa Rita were located after the war. They came from Sumai. So that's why I, I really did like to put Sumai in the <clears throat> name of Santa Rita slash Sumai. But so, uh, like I said with the, my colleagues here, uh, telling their stories about the villages, we from San Rita just came from Sumai, which Sumai was the, uh, supposed to be the capital of Guam until the war came. So it's a very productive village. But yes, I am in for su support of Santa Rita. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. As a matter of fact, I was speaking to Senator Tello, and she's going to give me the, the appropriate amendment on the bill so we can add the Sumai on this. Now that's being said, um, gosh, uh, I'm in full support of all the changes. I have family on every village that exists here today testifying. And I'm proud, I'm proud, and uh, you know, many of the folks from all the villages have asked me, when I ask them, Afamon, what do you think about the name change? You know what they say? They say in tomorrow, Afamonananga, Nalatsidik, Afamonanazan. So you know what, that's why we're doing this hearing today. We were supposed to do it last week, but timing was, scheduling was not good, uh, but we're gonna do it today. And if time permits, we'll wrap it up and I'll convince the speaker to accept it. We add it onto the agenda so we can end the issue with the villages. We do have one testimony that came in that, that opposes it. And I'm gonna go ahead and read it so that you know that we did get, receive one testimony against. Um, it came from Mr. Patrick Zerzan, said, Dear Senator Snogstein, half a day, here is my written testimony for today's public hearing at 2 p.m. on Thursday, June 24th, regarding bills 117, 118, 119, 125, and 126. He writes, I totally oppose the so-called changing the name of any and all villages and places in Guam from English to Chamorro. Next paragraph, so I oppose Bill 117, Agat to Hagat. Bill 118, Yomatak versus Humatak. Bill 119, Marisu versus Malesu. Bill 125, Santa Rita versus Santa Rita. Bill 126, Talafofo versus Talafofo. Those bills are totally unnecessary because these five villages already have tomorrow names. I guess he doesn't read the bill, no? Itinigi. But Polo da Tanmesco, no? Da Tatajisti. Okay, it is really sad that people do not even know that Chamorro and English are both already the official languages of Guam. Since Chamorro and English are both the official languages of Guam, all of the island's villages already have Chamorro names. For example, since Chamorro and English are both the official languages of Guam, Aganais is already Tutuhan, English Aganais Chamorro Tutuhan, both names are correct. 
One is the English name and one is the Chamorro name. Both English and Chamorro are the official languages of Guam, just as Guam and Guan are both correct, just as Agania and Hagania are both correct, just as Chamorro and Chamorro are both correct, just as Iran and Ilan are both correct. One is the English name and one is the Chamorro name. Both English and Chamorro are the official languages of Guam. So Agat, Agat and Hagat are both correct. So Umatic and Humatak are both correct. So Marisu and Melesu are both correct. So Santa Rita and Santa Rita are both correct. So Talafofu and Talafofu are both correct. One is the English name and one is the Chamorro name. Both English and Chamorros are the official languages of Guam. So it's totally unnecessary. It's really sad that people do not even know that Chamorro is an official language of Guam. Thank you, Jesus Master, sincerely, Patrick T. Zerzan. I accept the opposing statement, but I'm supporting these bills, and we'll move on. Okay, I can't please everybody, but we're gonna, there's more to please here. And with that message, I ask Senator Tidegui if she has any questions to the panel, because we do have, have a former delegate Underwood outside that's going to testify in support of the bills, and we have two other individuals. No, just, just sit down first. But my contusion, also the kakayo mono. <laughs> Mr. Right. Chair, I'm just, uh, just going to say that uh, uh, for the sake of time that we also have another testimony that was brought in by uh, Zia Sandova, who is a freshman at the University of Guam. And uh, she's actually, uh, in, in short, uh, she is a daughter of two Filipino immigrants who came to Guam for a better life and had no siblings, blood relations here. And that she stands in full support of this legislation. Um, uh, to keep the Guam history in respect to many of the people's ancestors who have su suffered through drastic cultural changes that had occurred centuries ago. There are many of my close Chamorro friends who are concerned about the culture fading into obscurity. I have been antiquated with many people who have a vast Chamorro family tree island and found myself all more surprised to discover that the vast amount of quantities were actually unaware of how the colonialization has truly affected the island. So um, other than that, Mr. Chair, this is in full support of the measure and, and appreciate her testimony. That's all I have. I, I just thank the mayors that are here today. I uh, totally respect the, the jobs that they do and the villages they serve because, you know, I've always considered myself a Southern girl and, and I always will till the day I die. So <laughs> thank you so much for being here, mayors. Thank you. Sujus Masi. Thank you, Senator uh, Tariwi. Madam Speaker, do you have any questions or comments for the panel? No questions. I guess uh, though, Mayor Alvarez, if I could just uh, ask you about the sumai. So the recommendation is to add sumai. Is you're in a, agreement with that? The S-U-M-A-I also? Okay. And the, I know what, I think one of you said that the municipal, uh, the Mayor of Agat said that the municipal planning councils also agree and have all of your municipal planning councils also agree okay all right well of course I'm in full support and I want to thank you I'm very proud to see all of the mayors of the south here at the same time I think this is a, a beautiful historic moment I'm proud to be part of it and I'm, I'm happy that the, the sponsor of the bill is uh, moving these all at the same time and uh and I'm glad for what you've testified, that uh, most of you have said that this is uh, going, this is something we should do uh, for, for future generations especially, so that they are going to be very, very clear as to the history of their villages. And I think that your testimonies have also helped to revive that, that in debating the name and where are the boundaries that we, we have kind of, you know, stumbled upon uh, also uh, just a lot of, a lot more talk about the history of these villages. So I want to thank you for all that. And again, of course, thank you for all your work, but most especially thank you for being here today in Sizu Thank you, Mr. Chair. Th thank you, Madam Speaker. Senator Brown, do you have any comments or questions to the panel? Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and certainly thank you to all our mayors. It's certainly a echo my comments and my fellow colleagues in recognizing to have all our, our southern mayors and also to have uh, Mayor Chargaloff from Minnerahan. It was not too long ago we were down in his village uh, to celebrate the 
formal name change back to the original uh, from Inarahan as we grew up, Inarahan, as we grew up listening and hearing uh, to Inalahan and, and the sense of pride certainly that he and, and the residents in his village expressed. Uh, I was even more impressed going because I didn't realize to the extent uh, the celebration of pride that would come out and being there and being able to share that time with, with, with your, your residents down there, Mayor, in recognizing um, you know, our history of who we are, where we come from, and we've certainly gone through a time in our history where a lot of efforts were made to erase who we are and, and the Americanization of Guam. Uh, all of us may come from you know, our, Chamorro, our Chamorro ancestors and part of us have a little mixes here and there, including myself. Uh, but being from Guam, living here most of my life, being raised here, uh, I have a greater and greater appreciation for our history, a greater appreciation for my well, my mom was born after the war, but my grandparents that lived through the war, as many of us, the hardships that our people have gone through to get to where we are today. And I think it's important to acknowledge that. It's important to have that sense of pride. And certainly for the young people coming up now, uh, that they have an opportunity in this whole revitalization of our culture and our history and our sense of pride. I look at Guam as the center of the world. We can go anywhere from here. Uh, and the fact that we are from here, more the reason that we have to support and display what is special and what is unique of us at a time when the world is almost becoming the same. Uh, so I'm definitely supportive of it. Thank you to each of you for coming and, and expressing your support. Uh, and we look forward to sharing and seeing more of, of who we are and expressing more of who we are as a people uh, through things like this. Some people might think, oh, it's insignificant. But it says a lot. It says a lot about who we are and where we're from and the pride that we have in our own home village that, that we come from. So I'm definitely supportive and thank you also you know, to Senator Taidui for, for moving forward this initiative and um, doing what has been a long time in coming. Uh, and it, it really is a greater expression of who we are and who our identity is as a people. Some people think it's just a simple name change, but there's a lot of meaning. There's a lot of meaning in this. So with that, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And thank you again to our mayors for coming in, down and providing your testimony this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Brown. I'd ask now the panel, um, thank you for your testimony. Uh, we have three other individuals that will be, that'll be coming in, and um, we won't have any more questions from the, the mayors. We have uh, Delegate Underwood coming in, and two other individuals are all in support of the bills. Okay, so thank you for coming. Thank you, Mayor. Take care. Biba. Biba. Biba Tauta Guam. All right, and thank you for the uh, people of Guam for being patient. We have uh, three individuals to speak. I'll have them uh, ad um, address their, their name and their title, if any, or the office they represent. And we'll begin with first of uh, delegate, former delegate uh, Robert Underwood. Sir. Uh, buenas tardes, half a day. Uh, I'm Robert Underwood. I'm, uh, I'm uh, chair of the, uh, the naming committee of the uh, Comisione Fino Tamoro. So I'm just uh, here testifying in favor of all the legislation. It's not really renaming the villages. And, 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 and people should understand that. We're not renaming the villages. 
We're just spelling them according to their Chamorro pronunciation, so no one is renaming these villages. Uh, on the southern end of the island, in accordance with the traditional Chamorro pronunciation and in accordance with the approved orthography. I'm grateful for the legislature's interest and support on this matter. I would add that this effort is totally in accordance with public law. That's what public law asks uh, that be done. It hasn't been done up to now. The Commission of Finotsamuru and Finanagwini Historians and Ilinatlani Tautautano has endeavored to meet these requirements in an orderly and systematic manner. I am requesting, as acknowledged by Mayor Alvarez, uh, that Bill 125 on the matter of Saptarita be amended to include Sumai. This was the recommendation of the Commission and is consistent with the testimony provided at that time by uh, Mayor Del Alvarez. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions about these legislative items and any part of the process that the Commission has engaged in as the Guam Place Name Commission. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And I know we have, um, I think it's Dylan Kim and Gabby Kim, both. Okay, we'll begin with uh, ladies first. Okay, we'll start with you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Gabby Kim, and I am an incoming sophomore at JFK High School. And I am also an intern at the Public Policy Institute under Vice Speaker Tina Munya Barnes. Uh, first, I would like to thank you for this opportunity to testify and support bills of 117, 118, 119, 125, and 126-36. Um, as a child, I was raised on Saipan uh, a small island nearby that shares the same Chamorro language and culture as Guam. Throughout most parts of my life, I learned the Chamorro language and have been surrounded by its culture. However, as I aged, I began to notice that the Chamorro culture that I am very familiar with isn't known to the world as much as I thought, especially the Chamorro language, which is the main reason why I support this bill. Um, with the enactment of these bills, with the purpose of changing the official um, village names to the Chamorro names, I strongly believe that it will have an impact on keeping the Chamorro tradition alive on our island. It not only continues the practice of the Chamorro language, but also is, also is an effective way to make the Chamorro culture more known to the world. It will greatly affect the new incoming generations as well as the young citizens on the island of Guam. Although this may not seem like anything major, I believe it will be a progressive step in keeping the Chamorro tradition, heritage, and culture alive on our island of Guam. Thank you for your time and attention. Thank you. And you, sir. Can we get a copy of her, of her testimony? Of the day. Thank you. Um, my name is Dylan Kim, and I'm here to testify. Um, I am an incoming junior at John F. Kennedy High School and an intern f at the Public Policy Institute program under Vice Speaker Tina Winner Barnes. Before I begin, I would like to thank everyone for being here and for giving me the opportunity to testify in support of Bills 117, 118, 119, 125, and 126-36. As an advocate of a cultural preservation, I recognize the importance of this acknowledgement for the Chamorro people. From what I've seen, many young Chamorros today cannot speak their language. If this cycle continues, Chamorros would end up losing, losing their culture, language, and its identity. With the enactment of Bills 117, 118, 119, 125, and 126-36, I truly believe that the Chamorro people will celebrate the preservation and the implementation of their cultural heritage. You may think this bill simply replaces the old Spanish village names, which may seem trivial, but this is a change that is necessary for the native people of Guam. This is a small, st small start to move our island to the right direction to preserve their culture. Although I come from an Asian background, I understand the importance of cultural identity and stand with the Chamorro people on this decision. Thank you, Chairman and Senators, for your time. Thank you, sir. 
Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um, we'll begin with Senator Tidegood. Do you have anything for the panel? Mr. Chair, and I'd like to thank you, especially the youth being here today um, and, and inspiring us, people like my age, you know, to remind us of the importance of the next generation and why we're here today to preserve this for you. And I greatly appreciate you for you coming today. Thank you so much. And um, to the Commission, um, trying to make all the meetings that you're having out there and, and try and be there uh, to hear what the villages have to say and what the mayors have to say so that um, I can bring back to my colleagues, you know, the comments and concerns that are brought down. And I, I greatly appreciate you being here today to provide your testimony, Dr. Underwood, and, um, and for the work you're doing. Uh, I know it's important to you. It's, it's very important to me as well. It's about restoring the names back. It's not changing, it's restoring. So thank you so much, Dr. Underwood, for continuing this quest and this journey to make the wrong right again. Thank you, <laughs> thank, thank you Senator Tadu. Um, Delegate uh, Underwood, I'm reading your testimony. You wanted to add Sumai on Bill 120 with Santa Rita. How did, how did you propose that? It'll say Santa Rita and then slash or dash? Dash. Dash? Oh, okay. All right. Speaker, uh, Therese, do you have any questions for the panel? No, I guess it's just that the Sumai one that's uh, kind of um, confusing. Uh, one, somebody texted me about, is this a two village municipality or one? And it's just one. Was, is the original Sumai includes also this whole area? Or were they originally two areas? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm sure that the, uh, you know, the boundaries of that uh, are approximately the same. And uh, so it's the, the definition of that is that uh, currently, as uh, Santa Rita is uh, described in the law, it includes Sumai. Right, I see so, that. So that's always been there. It's the same thing, uh, I just might add, that it's the same thing with Jigo and Anderson Air Force Base. And most of Anderson Air Force Base before the war was called UPI. So, you know, it would be uh, similar to that, you know, calling it, uh, I guess you could call it Jigo Anderson Air Force Base, or you could call it Jigo UPI, or you could just leave it at Jigo. You know, that's, those are all kind of live options. But in this one, we certainly wanted to recognize Sumai because it was the, uh, the originator of the, of the area. And Santa Rita is, sort of came later. Yeah, yeah okay. of course. I'm just trying to clarify whether the original Sumai also included, included the areas included that we are now. Included that area. All it the did, way it up. did include that. Yeah, area. all the way up the hill. Yeah. Okay. So the boundaries here are, it looks like uh, Naval Magazine. Yeah, it includes Naval Magazine. Okay, so, yeah. all right. So all, just one more time. So all of that was originally Sumai. Sumai. Okay. Right. Uh, you know, I have uh, no further question, but just want to thank, thank you all for your work. And I know that you've been going to all these hearings to, uh, or conducting <laughs> hearings so that we yeah, can get well, public input on this as it well. Can, it can be a lot of fun, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you. And I thank you both for your testimony. It's very helpful as well. I think it's important, uh, your perspective uh, as um, younger generation, uh, because some of the mayors came in here and said, we're doing this in part for the younger generation. So uh, I appreciate that you are also in support and you recognize that value as well. Thank you, Madam Speaker. You. Senator Brown, do you have any comments or questions for the panel? Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I certainly echo my appreciation to Dr. Underwood and his continued uh, service to our people and working on, on what is a very important project and very important process in our community. So thank you, Dr. Underwood, for your continued contribution and your expertise and, and the heart that you put into the work that you do. And certainly thank you to our young people here from our Public Policy Institute and in providing your testimony. Um, it's, it's really appreciated because having your insight and your engagement uh, is important to our community. I hope you continue to do this in the future as issues arise that are of interest or importance to you uh, to come forth and, and provide that for our community. Uh, with that, Mr. Chairman, I have no further comments. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you very much, Senator Brown. Senator Tidewe, the author of the bills, do you have any closing statement, please? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. And Mr. Chair, I'm grateful for all the mayors and the vice mayors and residents of the Southern Villages and other, um, others offering their comments on these measures. Uh, some of the testimonies I've received have been very positive. I hope, and I remain hopeful that these bills will help <clears throat> to inspire our children and young adults to learn more about their, and reconnect with their Chamorro identity. The challenges we as people continue to endure and the responsibilities we share in protecting the resources the Lord has blessed us with. So the future generation will always have a safe and beautiful Guam to call home. Sidus Masi. And Biba Hoget. Biba Humatek. Biba Malesu. Biba Santarita Sumai. And Biba Talafofo. Biba. Biba. Yes, Madam Speaker, you want to. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yes, if I could just ask uh, Dr. Underwood. At the hearings on the bills that are before us, were, th were there any controversy? No. Okay. Uh, there, uh, you know, there were some people on the side just asking about why this process. But, you know, uh, just, uh, just uh, you know, uh, the, the hearings are on file. So uh, we explain what the origin of this is. So pretty much once people understand that... Uh, we didn't just invent this out of you know, nothing. It was uh, kind of a prescription that was uh, uh, been in law for a while. Uh, I think people comprehend it. So, you know, uh, I think there's going to be obviously more controversy with, uh, with the place names. And so those place names are then, you know, uh, are coming up, I think, uh, probably in a couple of months. So, All right. Thank, we'll, we'll you Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, there being uh, no other um, testimony on this bill, the committee will conclude this public hearing on the following bills. Bill number 117-36-COR, an act to amend section 403K of chapter 4, title 1, Guam Code Amended, relative to changing the official name of the municipality of Agat to its name in the Chamorro language, namely Hagat. And bill 118-36-COR, an act to amend section 403J of chapter 4, title 1, Guam Code Antit, relative to the changing the official name of the municipality of Yumatak, Yumatak to its name in the Chamorro language, namely Humatak. Bill 119 36 COR, an act to amend section 403I of chapter 4, title 1, Guam Code Antit, relative to changing the name, changing the official name of the municipality of Marisu to its name in the Chamorro language, namely Maleso. Bill 125, an act to amend section 403I of chapter 4, title 1, Guam Code Annotated, relative to change the official name of the municipality of Santa Rita to its name, Santa Rita dash, and we'll amend the bill, dash Sumai. And Bill 126 36, COR, an act to amend section 403G of chapter 4, title 1, Guam Code Annotated relative to change the official name of the municipality of Talofofo to its name in the Chamorro language, namely Talofofo. All bills were introduced, authored by Senator Tello Tadigui and co-sponsored by, by many of the senators, even the senators that are present today. We have Senator Brown, myself, Senator, uh, Speaker Terlai, Senator Clint Rigel, Senator Chris Duenas, Senator Tony Adams, Senator Frank Bloss, Senator Sabina Flores, Paris, uh, Vice Speaker uh, Tina Rose Munya Barnes, Senator Peter Terlai. I think I pretty much caught everybody. Thank you very much. That being said, the committee will continue to receive testimony. And please address your written testimony to the Committee on General Government Operation Appropriation Housing and submit it via email to Senator Joe S. Augustine at gmail.com or to my office located at Rand Care Building, 2nd floor, Suite 3, 761, South Marine Corps Drive, Timonin, Guam. Sidzus Masi for your attendance and participating in today's hearing. And for those at home, thank you for watching the public hearing on all the bills I've identified, 117, 118, 119, 125, and 126, is now adjourned at 255. Thank you. Please be safe and have a nice day.